What is going on guys? This is CH from Village Park Media. In this video we are going to connect our Dreamweaver to our server on localhost. And we're really only doing it for testing. We're not going to be I'm not going to have it set up so we can run it and have updates on the fly. I'm just installing it on Dreamweaver so we can actually get our PHP and Perl and Python files to show up. So first things first is we need to turn on our ZAMP and if you don't have ZAMP, I created a video on it. You're going to need ZAMP because we're going to need our we're going to need our server that we have on our local computer, so I've turned these on. And now I need to create a folder in my HT Docs, a root folder of what my website's going to be called. So I'm in my applications, and I'm going to go to my XAMPP folder right here, XAMPP files. My HT Docs is right here, but this is a shortcut, so it's not really the correct directory. So I'm going to go to my XAMPP files. Here's the HT Docs folder that I'm looking for, and I will call this folder. you got to come up here to create a new folder, and I will call this password time. I will call this CH. That's my name. Come on. CH. Okay. And I'll just go ahead and create our, our index.php page right now. So I'm going to open up TextMate and PHP echo please work. And semicolon to end the statement. I'll go to file save. Here is a back in applications. You got to go to your folder in your XAMPP folder in your htdocs folder. I'll do it from the top. So we'll go to XAMPP, XAMPP files, htdocs. Where is it? CH. Okay. This is where we want to save it. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and open up our Dreamweaver. Let's open up this bad boy. Uh oh, and I'm gonna go to new site. Go to new site right up here, and we'll call this ch. Why not? And our local site folder is again, it's right here. But I'll go from the top. We'll go from applications to XAMPP, XAMPP files, HT docs, and ch. Here's our root folder, the folder we just created with an index.php page inside of it. There it is. So now from here, before we hit save, we got to go activate our localhost server. So go to server, hit the little plus sign down here, and we can call our server name whatever we want to since we're connecting on localhost. I'll call it localhost. And we are not connecting through FTP. We are connecting through our local network. And we got to find our server folder, which is the folder we just found. So we go to Applications, XAMPP, XAMPP Files, HTDocs, CH, Choose. That's good to go. And for our web URL, it's going to be localhost forward slash CH. Now we can save it. But before we click save, we want to unclick this, unclick remote and click testing because that's all I'm going to be using it as. If I was clicking it as remote, I would configure it with FTP, but that's not what we're doing. So now I'm going to click save. And here's our folder that we created, our root folder with our PHP in it. So we just created that folder, please work. And now I'm going to go up here and test it in the browser. And it doesn't matter which browser. Firefox, and there it is. So now our back end is showing up on our front end, and we have successfully configured localhost on Dreamweaver on a Mac. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.